What's up everyone, Dan here, Crypto Capital Venture, June 23rd, 2019. It's a midnight video, Litecoin. We're going to talk about Litecoin. A couple bullish targets to the upside. I want to discuss it. We've talked about it on the channel before, but before we get into that, I thought it was important to take a quick glance at LTC, BTC, especially with Bitcoin, the moves that it's been making lately. There's always, you know, just that question of the correlation between the two, who's following who, what's going to happen next in terms of a bitcoin move or a litecoin move or both at the same time you know you just you never know and if we can simplify it we want to look at the ltc btc pair to kind of see well what's going on in terms of those two synergistically moving with each other and on the daily chart on the ltc btc pair first thing i just want to point out there's there's three things i want to talk about the first thing is this the 50 moving average is is an area where we want to see the daily close above we want to see continued support there that's the environment where litecoin is just strong especially when we're getting bounces off the 50 moving average and continuation to the upside that's the type of litecoin world we want to see on the ltc btc pair now we've had a downtrend on this pair right from that previous swing high to previous swing low 30 percent like yesterday's candle and currently we're, we're really just below that 50 moving average. It's something to keep an eye on, but more importantly, what I wanna point out is this white line down here, right? And you actually see it's actually even below the 200 moving average on the, on the daily, but this is a really important longer term area that I wanna talk about. And that is like 0 .01, 0 0.01084 area, right? And I know that's just a bunch of numbers, Let's go to the weekly and look look at what it looks like on the weekly. So this is what I'm really looking at in terms of Litecoin on the weekly. This is a 50 moving average, confluent with that line that we just checked on the daily. It's below the 50 moving average on the daily. It's below the 200 moving average on the daily. But in this long-term story of Litecoin versus Bitcoin, it's an extremely area, important area of support. So while we want to, on the daily, stay above kind of where we are right now the best case scenario if we don't is we stay above the 50 moving average which we have right here on the charts and it's just something i want to throw out there i know not i know not everyone is watching this pair the ltc btc pair but that is a very good area now on this chart right here on the weekly chart we have this inverse head and shoulders that we're tracking the potential of it right so even if litecoin actually does make a move down to this 50 week moving average it's another 50 15 percent or so to the downside get some you know traction or support and kind of continues up we still have a right shoulder in play in my opinion so these things take time especially we're tracking an inverse head and shoulder that's that's tracking back to may of 2017 that's the left shoulder um and here's the head now i want to just just point out something to you i didn't draw this very well this left shoulder is actually going lower than the head uh, but this entire setup is based on these weekly closes. So here's the left shoulder close. You'll see the you'll see the head close uh, on these weekly bars below the left shoulder. Extremely important, uh, and and therefore we also are looking for a setup with right shoulder close on these weekly candles above the head. Right. So then we'll have our um, potential inverse head and shoulders. Extremely bullish because this is the area we want to break on this pair it's up here in the 0.02 land will it happen this is something that requires patience track it if you want i'm looking at it but it's going to take some time this is the daily chart on litecoin before we jump into going over there's bullish targets to the upside real quick throwing this out there look at the chart right now on my screen the 50 moving average if you haven't seen my videos talking about the 50 moving average, the gravity of the 50 moving average, this blue line in a bull market, in a bear market, 100% of the time for 100% of cryptos acts as gravity. It is a magnet. We get pulled to that area all the time, especially when we're in overbought conditions, especially when we're overextended. So currently Litecoin pretty overextended from the 50 moving average i'm kind of zoomed out here on the chart but around 30 percent overextended i'll try and zoom in here for you uh around 30 percent overextended that's a lot it happens often right the last time we got pulled back we had a beautiful move to the upside of like 60 percent and what happened gravity happened and you can see it illustrated on the chart 
all you have to do 30% to the downside, right? In these couple weeks here, and this just happened in April. All you have to do is zoom out on the charts and you'll see it has happened consistently. So it doesn't take a rocket science, ro rocket scientist or an expert YouTube technical analyst to tell you that the gravity will once again take place. Nobody knows exactly when, but be prepared for it. So, you know, just to give you an idea right now, Litecoin from where we are, we're 20, around 20% 20 or so to the downside would bring us back to the 50 moving average. You can remember that area around $110 for what we're about to look at on the charts. And here it is. These are the patterns we're tracking on the daily chart. We have our third symmetrical triangle in a row confluent with this new uh, ascending triangle right in red that we have here both we have both breakout targets uh, very similar right i know we're one two three four on our fifth day broken through the upside right of this symmetrical triangle and this is a really good illustration of once you break through a trend line it takes time for confirmation to the target right right now we're five days in so this can come at any time this symmetrical triangle or i'm sorry this ascending triangle the red we just broke out of the upper trend line yesterday right both targets for the ascending triangle here around 155 you know and then this symmetrical triangle here right around 155 156 that's to the upside from where we're trading at right now i know there's many people have higher targets that's just my my simple target right now 10 percent to the upside would be a very strong move for litecoin it's what i'm tracking from that area, if we hit that area, I'd be anticipating a little bit of a pullback, a little bit of consolidation for a continued upside for Litecoin. It's what happen has happened this entire uptrend since swing lows, right? We're breaking out of these bullish patterns, but then we're getting these consolidation moves, right? Every time. So we're breaking into a new pattern, consolidation, right? Breaking into a new pattern, consolidation, and it happens over and over again. So it's the story of litecoin it's a story of patterns consolidation along the way look for those areas of consolidation don't shy away from them that's where opportunity lies it's where it exists if you look right now on the uh, daily rsi you can see we're, we're a little bit in that overbought close to that overbought territory on the rsi but if you look back on all of these breakouts that that litecoin has had you can really see litecoin was kind of in the same vicinity in terms of before that move happened right so back here in june beginning of june we have back here uh litecoin seeing a huge move from this piece of the rsi kind of going into that overbought in the rsi here's our consolidation back down so a similar type of move would bring us up around 10 percent to our targets right and then a little consolidation it's just something to be mindful of if we go to the four hour chart here's a really nice picture of what's going on right now currently litecoin seeing some support in the upper trend line of this ascending triangle this red pattern it's good it's good that we're seeing some support here it could play very nicely into a breakout to the upside that's what we're looking at breakout to the downside here's our target target to the downside right around that 112 dollar area so we talked about and this kind of circles us all the way back to what we just talked about on the daily chart where's our 50 moving average it's right around 110 it's at 108 so just above that area 112 is our target to the downside throwing it out there for you nobody in this world knows the move that will happen next for litecoin but you better believe these are our targets and if you can come up with your own plan your action plan for what you want to do and how you want to accumulate along the way if you have patience you will succeed in this market expect nothing anticipate everything those are my thoughts for the day i hope you have an amazing day if you're here right now and you're not a subscriber hit that subscribe button i would love to have you as part of the channel i will see you in the next video have a great day and god bless